And a health alert for you this morning. There are dozens of unvaccinated students that have to stay home for three weeks because there have been five confirmed cases of chicken pox at the school. This is happening at Daybreak Primary School in the city of Battleground, Washington. That's just outside of Portland. So starting tomorrow morning, health officials say 38 children who didn't have proof of immunity against the virus cannot come back to school. And they have to stay away until mid-November. So joining me to talk about this um, and the decision to exclude these students, Dr. Jennifer Cottle, it's so good Hi. to have you here in studio. Thank you, it's good to be with you. You know, keeping 38 kids home, this is a pretty drastic move. Do you agree with so, this? I, I think it's drastic, but I think it's important and necessary and appropriate. We have to remember that chicken pox is highly contagious. Sure. And it can take up to two weeks for a child that's been exposed to chicken pox to actually come down with the illness. So that's probably why they're saying two to three weeks. No, I actually think this is appropriate. Um, doctors have recommended to get your vaccines for yes. 20 years. Yes, Yet absolutely. Yet there are parents that feel so strongly about vaccines. I may even get some emails from folks out there about, why, will too. about <laughs> why they did not vaccinate their kids. Right. What would you say to those parents? So this is, I'm, I'm going to get the emails too, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say vaccines save lives. They are key. We, we've had a chicken pox vaccine for about 20 years now. And when I was little, we didn't have the vaccine. Mm -hmm. We just got chicken pox. We have a vaccine, and remember that chicken pox can cause complications in many people. Babies, pregnant women, adults can have severe complications. It's really important for children uh, to be vaccinated. And honestly, getting the vaccine is a lot safer than getting the illness. It's so important. Um, this was really interesting. We heard from a TV station in Denver that there is a local Facebook group that actually gets children together, yes. tries to give each other the chicken pox right. virus. The chicken pox parties. So, yes, so that they yes. naturally build their immunity, their immunity to it. Yes. What do I say what about do you that? Say about I say this? no uh no 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 no. And this is the thing. I mean, I, what I've heard in these situations is that parents may want their children to become immune to the chickenpox, but not from getting the vaccine, but getting exposed to other children who have it. The problem with that is that you're now making children sick, which exposes them to complications. Remember, there can be complications to the chicken pox, even though not common. And if those children then go out into the public and they expose pregnant women, babies, or adults, or people with weakened immune system, cancer patients, etc., it could be downright deadly for some. The best thing is to get the vaccine. For a lot of parents, we're trusting you doctors when you say yes. there aren't the dangers that maybe people would read about. In terms those of vaccines, been, you mean? Yes. 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 And we're trusting doctors when they say yes. that. Yes. But what about those parents that really truly believe, I'm not gonna take that risk. Can you point yes. to what it is that sort of debunks those, those people? First of all, I, under, I understand there are a lot of parents that feel this way. I have patients that do yeah. not get vaccines, and we have this conversation. This what, is, what's the conversation? How does it go? Well, so oftentimes it's the flu shot. With my, you know, with my patients, a lot of people believe the flu shot gives you the flu, et cetera. Yes. But I also have conversations with parents that they're concerned about the safety of vaccines. We know that by and large, vaccines are very, very, very safe, okay? The risk of complications with vaccines, of course, there can be potentially side effects, but is relatively small compared to the benefit. The other thing we, and I'm just going to call out the elephant in the room. Many parents have concerns about things like autism and vaccines. Yes. Let me be very clear that this autism myth, and it, it's always been a myth, I mean, just be very clear about that, has been debunked over and over and over with studies and science and medical information. Parents, I get it. I understand that you may have questions. What I would say is talk with your doctor before you make any decisions. But really, getting vaccines is the right thing to do. Well, and also it could yeah. expose these children to life-threatening illnesses yes. separate from the chicken pox virus. But yes. thank you so much, Dr. Jennifer Thank you. Cottle. Thank it's you. It's so good to have you here in <laughs> studio. <as well. laughs>